All right, guys, today we're gonna get rid of that pesky hook. Okay, that's about 20, maybe 25% of you at the very most who actually hook the golf ball too much. Congratulations, you've learned to articulate your wrists. You're driving in the fast lane. You're out of control, but you're driving in the fast lane, which is actually a good thing. Obviously, we've got too much hook. It's unmanageable, and that's what we're gonna to talk about today. We're gonna to try and figure out something very, very simple that's gonna help you get rid of it. What we don't wanna do is get in the weeds. This isn't about impressing you, all right? That's not gonna help you. What we're gonna do is keep it very, very simple, okay? So what we've got here in front of us is a bush. You can see that bush is right there. And I often find when I go out and do playing lessons with people, you get a bush in front of them, or you have them hit under some branches, and all of a sudden the creative side of the brain takes over. They start thinking less, and a lot of the time they're kind of pulling it off, which is kind of interesting. But I'm gonna use the bush here just for to sort of demonstrate to you what the hook is all about. So when you're hooking the golf ball, you're generally aligned and aimed too far right. And what we see here is a, a golf swing that's too flat, right? So it's a little bit too much like a merry-go-round. So if you could picture swinging out to the right, flatten this thing out a little bit. And obviously I'm trying to go at the bush here. Club's gonna swing too far to the inside. Club's gonna get too far underneath or behind me. And then at my exit, the club's swinging too far out to the right, unfortunately. So again, you're swinging too far inside out. It's gonna force you to use your hands too much. You're gonna have to close that club face pretty aggressively counterclockwise, and there's your hook. So how do we get rid of it? Very simple, we've got to do the opposite, right? We've got to get the opposite feels in place. We've got to give you a little bit of dose of, of slice, all right? And that's not a bad thing. Don't run away, there's no need to, no need to be frightened here. Um, but we've got to get that golf swing in a more vertical orbit, and we've got to get the club exiting a little bit more to the left of the bush. So instead of swinging out to the right, we're gonna to swing to the left. So how are we gonna do that? Well, I like to use a, a bucket right here. I just take your balls and get rid of them and you know, you wanna put this right here opposite your right toe, essentially. All right, so we're gonna set it up right opposite my right toe. I'm gonna to go ahead and move it in a different direction here. Set up to the golf ball. Put that bucket right out in front of me. And you can see here, if I set up to the golf ball, if I take this club straight back in a sort of linear fashion, I'm gonna miss that bucket here just by a couple, three inches. If I drag it to the inside early, I'm gonna hit the bucket. If I get stuck inside as I come down, I'm gonna hit the bucket. So anything you can do um, to sort of dissuade you from taking it too far to the inside is gonna be very, very helpful. You can also use a water bottle. You may have seen some tour players get stuck underneath and they're gonna use water bottles. So whatever it takes visually to help you do this is very important. So I'm gonna make some little swings probably with an eight iron or a nine iron. And the objective here is to take it back in a way that it doesn't get too far around the corner, okay? So for me, one of the feelings I have halfway back, left arm parallel, is I like to feel like the club's in balance, what I would call a, a light position. You can see here, it's in a little bit more of a vertical orbit. The button of the club's kind of pointing down here towards the golf ball. Again, don't wanna to get too much in the weeds, but it's gonna be very difficult for me to miss this bucket if I get the club too far inside my hands. And that's what I see an awful lot, okay? For you hookers, the club gets too inside too soon, normally remains there, and that gets you in all sorts of trouble. So what we're gonna do here is get that club swinging a little bit more out in front of you and a little bit more vertical, and then we're gonna come down and miss this bucket. And I'm gonna feel like I'm exiting to the left of the bush. Remember before, you are swinging too far out to the right. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I miss my bucket, get the club in a little bit more of a vertical orbit here, and I'm gonna to swing to the left of the bush. And there we go. Went to the left of the bush, what do you know? And I look down and it's like, wow, I just took a divot as well. I know a lot of you hookers never take divots because you're too flat, right? Anytime you're coming in too flat, the club's too low too soon. So we're picking it a lot. You, may, you find it difficult maybe to hit out of a bunker. You find it difficult to hit out of the rough. So all of a sudden I've got a little bit of a divot and I could also see here the divots actually pointing a little bit to the left, which is a really good thing because we're hitting the divot after the golf ball. Remember the golf swinger needs to be inside to square to inside. We're standing to the side of the golf ball. So the key here to get rid of that hook is to feel like that club is exiting, guys, more to the left. Very very important. I'm going to hit that one more time. Keep it simple. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of my left brain here. I'm going to focus on my target and I'm going to look at my start line. My start line is going to be left of the bush. So that's where I'm going to take my eyes, okay, out to the left. And I'm going to do a couple practice swings and I'm going to feel like I'm swinging the golf club in that direction. 
Eyes up, okay? Don't get stuck staring at the golf ball. All right, here we go again. Club's not gonna get too flat, okay? Starting it to the left. That was really good. All right, now here's the key. Do that a whole bunch of times, you're gonna get rid of your hook. There's no question. If you're more vertical, you're gonna get rid of your hook. If you're flat and underneath, you're gonna to continue to hook. The challenge is what do we feel on the golf course, right? Because the last thing you wanna be out, out, doing out there is thinking too much. It really boils down to your start lines, okay? You're so used to looking way right in terms of where you wanna start the ball because you're afraid of hooking to the left. So it takes a little bit of commitment. It takes a little bit of courage to obviously align in the direction you're missing. If you're missing left, the last thing you wanna do is align and aim to the left. But that's what keeps us in business as teachers, right? So you gotta do what is right, not what feels right. That's very important to understand. So give this drill a go, put a bucket down, keep it simple, and go ahead and make some swings where you feel like you're exiting a lot more to the left, and you just see what happens to your hook. It's gonna disappear, okay? Best of luck, have fun, get rid of your hook.